Welcome back uh, to our program tonight. Well, we've been blessed. I'm telling you that first hour, what a blessing. And of course, Michael Bazmachin. Oh, I, I love the guy. He's, I've known him for several years now, and he's going to be our guest during this, uh, these next few moments along with uh, Scott Daniels. But let me just say this, a big thank you to our prayer partners. They're standing by, by the way. Many of you have written in, have called in, and uh, uh, sometimes some of you do write us by going online there, and we get these prayer requests. We're praying for you collectively tonight, and then you'll be prayed for individually tomorrow. But we want to thank you for being with us. And listen, those prayer partners are waiting for your call. Yeah, they are. And, and they, can't, uh, they can't pray for you if you don't give us a call. You, you may be surrounded by loved ones. You may be all alone tonight. I, I don't know. But one thing I do know, the power of prayer. Jesus said, when two or more are gathered in my name. Isn't that wonderful to know that you can be home contacting a prayer partner here? Think about the connection. And think about how the Lord Jesus Christ just looks down and shines upon you. Also, let me just say this. We're always in need of prayer partners. Amanda is here, and you can give her a call. See the number right there, 864-244-1616. Call during business hours and ask to speak to Amanda. And you can say that we're interested, my, my elder group, my deacon group, my small group, my small group Bible study. We'd like to learn more about being prayer partners. We need your help. We, we really do. Because sometimes those phones ring off the hook and we can't answer them. So we need your help. So would you please uh, prayerfully consider that and let us hear from you? If so, give us a call. We would appreciate that. You know, we've had so much fun uh, this uh, first hour. And I don't know about you, I am still looking for that little bit of Christmas in the air. Hadn't come yet, or at least I haven't noticed it. But I can't help but think it's just right around the corner somewhere, isn't it? And uh, to be able to enjoy ourselves, to know that the seasons are in their perspective of changing. Though, you know, summer still goes on to the 21st of September, and so we're still in summertime, and uh, some of these dog days we've had here lately. Anyways, we want you to know that as you join us, we join you by the power of television. Yeah, we do. And we just thank you for letting us be part of uh, your evening. And uh, the Lord loves you, and so do we. Right now, my dear friend, Michael Baz Machen, the power of his love. All right, Michael, let's go. This is the power of love. The word tells you how much Once you've heard the word of God, listen for his voice and you will hear. Eternity was born for you. The power of love is crystal clear. Jesus opened up his heart to you. When he died at Calvary, he took the sin you could not bear. Making you forever free Open up to the power of His love and Then you'll feel it in your soul He reaches down and lifts you up His love and power will make you
Beautiful music, Michael. I, I think he's, he's making his way over here to join us. And uh, Michael Bass Machen is no stranger to our WGGS family. Uh, he has been with us, uh, I guess, uh, uh, Michael, you and I have been together maybe, what, tw 12 10, years? 12 years? My years gracious. I know. Can you believe it's that? It's been a long time, but it's been, a, it's been more than... Nightline has opened up a whole new. I mean, yeah. People call me with prayer. People yeah. call me with, with things they need to. And and they and they believe that you are a prayer warrior. And and I'm just so glad to have you back. And you know, sitting here, and I can't help. I look at Dad's picture over there. And uh, your dad was a great man. He he really really was. How many times that you were here with us at Nightline, and Dad was sitting over there in the audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, how long has he been gone now? Well, he passed away September okay. 20th. and uh, So we're coming up on a year. Yeah. Bless your heart. Year, but you Bless know what? Heart. He was such, and I think about the good times I had with him. Yeah. Was, uh, it was amazing. I mean, oh. It was hard at first. Oh, yeah, yeah. grieving. And, but the Lord kept me through it because when, when I went to the hospital and he was dying, I actually went outside and got on my knees and said, yeah. Lord, you got this one, please. Yeah. And uh, it, it worked out really well. We all were with that. We, you know, we continue to keep you in our prayers. And let me just say this to our, our TV family tonight. You need to have Michael Bass Machen in your church, all right? Now, I can speak from experience. He was in my church uh, when I was at the Eastland Church in Greenville, South Carolina. This guy can bless your people. And you see his information there on the screen. You contact him. Uh, give him a call through email, however you want to do it. You need to have him in your church. I'll promise you. I've had him, and he will bless your heart, all right? Give him a call now. Give him a call. Any time of the day, 24-7, wake him up. Stir him up, <laughs> all right? It won't take much. We've got a friend of yours, Scott Daniel. Scott, we welcome you to, be here. to uh, Nightline. Pleasure to be here. This is your first visit with us here. First time, yes, sir. And uh, I, I, 
am I to assume you're not his sidekick, or he's not your sidekick? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and, and, and yet, uh, tell me, uh, how is your association with Mike? Tell us about who uh, Scott Daniels is. Well, Scott Daniels is somebody that just uh, got really serious about the Lord in the last couple of years. I mean, I knew Jesus. I've saved back in 2002 and uh, just went to church, and that was basically it until right. I had a relationship with Jesus Amen. a couple of years ago, and it just turned my world upside down. What, what, how did you recognize that change? That How did you come to see that you really didn't have that relationship with the Lord Jesus as you do now? How, what, what, what basically, that? The, the biggest thing for me was the peace, uh -huh. the peace that I experienced. I didn't have that peace before because uh -huh. I didn't have any relationship with, with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of like in turmoil, you know, it's like, this is religion, you know, this doesn't help me at all. Right, right. Until I realized that God told me one day that I'm to love everybody like He loves. Whoa, that's and right. that, uh, Mark 12, 28 and 29 are my verses. Great. Love the Lord with all your mind, soul, heart and strength. Mm -hmm. Then love everyone else as your neighbor mm -hmm. as you love yourself. That's right. And that's what I do every that's day. Right. That's my ministry. Amen. And I, just amen. Want to, I just want to touch more people and, and connect with more people so we can, I can love on them. And, and so how, how, what connection with you and Michael? How, well, Michael and I met, what, three years ago, I yeah. believe it was. We were getting involved in an organization called Flight Right. We were getting ready prison to do ministry. prison ministry. Okay. And we were at a, at a meeting for that, and uh, I met Michael, and I tell Michael to this day, I said, you know, the first time I met you, you know, I felt the love. Absolutely. I felt the love out, out of him. His you passion do. is, right. is un, you know, it's very recognizable. Yes, yes. So uh, he's yes. just an amazing man, and I, I still love him to, to this day. I mean, he's, he's a dear friend of mine. <laughs> he is. No, he very, is. Very, very, very great person. We talk on the phone all the time. Now, so. the prison ministry that you're all involved in, what is your role? And Michael, I'm going to ask you in a second your yeah. role, I'm sure, with the music. Yeah. But what is your role in this ministry, the prison ministry, for example? Well, our role would be to go in, and, and they give us tracts and, and their Bible verses, and we will read them to the prisoners and try to bring them to salvation. All right. And right. that was our role to go in and talk to, talk to them individually. But right. we didn't use, we didn't do those tracks. We went in with our heart and Satan behind us and Jesus in front of us. Amen. And we uh, tell that one amazing story. Uh, the first yeah. prison I went into, uh, you know, I was the first time ever in a prison. It was in Gadsden, Alabama. I'll mm -hmm. never forget this day. And I went in there, and, and uh, there's a guy that has been there for years and years doing prison ministry. He was supposed to train me, okay. and he never trained me. He walked off and went into another room. So I'm out here all by myself. There's like 70 inmates all around me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like two floors, and I'm like scared to death. But anyway, <laughs> I sit down, and I watch this guy over here, and he's all by himself, and nobody's talking to him. Nobody's yeah. even speaking to him, not even acknowledging him. So I went over there, and I sat down and talked to him for 45 minutes. Whoa. And yeah. that's all I did in that prison was that day. I sat with that man for 45 minutes. God told me to go sit down and talk to him. Nobody was paying him attention. All right, all right. And uh, you know, I just went over there, and he just... You know, he, he, he bared his soul to me Amen. about his life and this, the situations he was going through in life. You know, and I just sat there and I listened to him. Yeah. And that, that's how I made a difference that day because yes. that man needed that connection. That's right. And that's, right. What, that's what I'm here for, to connect yeah. right. with people. Right. And, and, you know, tonight we have, uh, there's several who are listening from the Perry Correction Center. And, uh, you know, you're loved. I don't care what you've done. And you know what? The Lord Jesus doesn't care what you've done. That's right. If you repent That's of right. your sin, you Amen. know what he does? He gets an eraser, and he just erases anything you or I have ever done. Amen. And you are clean, clean, clean. And you don't need to talk about what, what brought you there. And whether you're there for another uh, week, month, year, or ten years, we love you. And I can't help but think, Scott, about your... Um, uh, just sensing uh, in, in your presence that uh, you know you have an affinity there with people in prison. I, I mean, yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, it's it's a great thing. And Michael, and, yes. and uh, are you playing, singing? I know you're giving out right. tracks, witnessing, but right. what else is your role there? Well, I, we could. No, I couldn't play any music in there. But uh, like I said, the one day that well, we went together, right. I said <laughs> I, I went and just took those tracks and. You know, when we're talking to prisoners to their heart, because that's more important to, t to tell them that there's a way, you know, to get, when you get out, don't do this again. Right, you know? but, right. I mean, right. I talked to several prisoners, but that one, that one young man who dropped his baby that was, uh, and killed there, she was up for, he was up for involuntary manslaughter. And there was a Christian boy beside him, and I got to talk to him. I said, let's pray. So I grabbed his hands. We looked up to heaven. And I said, the Lord has forgiven you. Now forgive yourself. Yes, yes. And then while yes. I had his hands illegally, I said, would you accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior? 
guess what? He did. Right there and then. We were just, I could see his face, hey, that the Holy Spirit was going in his heart. And, and then, and then as, as, as we went and did this, I actually got a hold of somebody to check on his progress. The man is not serving 25 years. He's, ser he's at home with his family now. Amen. And that's what it's all about. And he, and he left as a, a strong Christian. He loved Jesus. So, Amen. so Amen. that day was phenomenal. And, you know, I can't help but think the, the, the impact the both of you are having. Um, you know, I, I lived in Alabama for yeah. several years, and you're familiar with Gadsden. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you see now, are you going to be in prisons locally here? Do you see those doors opening for well, you? Well, the, the progress is that you have to have enough um, security to right. do these programs. Right. And sometimes, even like the Greenville one last time, that got canceled because they didn't have enough to, for the prisoners. You know, it's a, right. it's a big thing, I'll tell you. Right. It is. It yeah. is. And, and they're looking out for, yeah. for your safety. Yeah. yeah. And, and all. But now... What else do you see? Or do y'all go together? For example, I was telling Michael about right. yeah. folks. They again, you need to have Michael Basmation in your church. But do you folks? Are y'all a team? Would y'all go to places, churches, organizations, men's groups, <laughs> ladies' <laughs> groups? Would you go? I mean, yeah. as a team? Yes, Absolutely. we would. I would. Absolutely sing. would. I was singing. I'd this young to. man here would just love give to. some testimony. And, and, and it, it, I love Jesus. He's not a preacher, but guess what? He loves the Lord so much. He'll tell you just what it's all about. I mean, and and you know so many times, and I, and I think that, yeah. uh, Scott, you've probably seen this, I know you have, Michael, that, uh, you know, when the preacher's there, well, that's what he's paid to do. Right. That's <laughs> I mean, right. You know, you understand yeah. what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I'm not trying to be little preachers, you know. but let's just face it. Yeah. When you're there, when you're there, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, uh, you're there um, not out of, you're there just yeah. because yeah. Um, out of obedience to the Lord. Amen. But, Absolutely. but to love them. And, yes, uh, but what do y'all see your role in the local church as being, having been in a, uh, having been now in prison, prisons, yeah, yeah. what do you see your role in the local church being? Uh, my role myself is to go out in this world and to love people. Yes. That's, that's what Jesus did. Of course he did. I mean, we're, we're Christians. We're supposed to be Christ-like. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to go out in the community and show people what Jesus is, right. who Jesus is, right. through us. That's right. You know, when we get saved, we know we have Jesus in us. Right. We have the Holy Spirit in us. Absolutely. Well, what are we doing with that Holy Spirit when we walk outside these doors? Right, right, right. I mean, my, my ministry is everywhere. Yeah. Because, you yeah. know, when I see people, I light up. Yeah. That's awesome. And I just want to touch. I want to make that connection. Yeah. Is Greenville, Spartanburg area your home? Uh, originally, I'm from New Jersey. From Me too. New Jersey. <laughs> he's from New Jersey. I'm you're New Jersey boys. Mm. Absolutely. I'm, and did y'all know that? Did you realize that when you when you met one another? No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> it, was, no. it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We yeah. had a blast, and yeah. we still do. But now, home exactly. for you today is today is Belton. I live in Belton, South Carolina. Big city. We bought a uh, we bought a house out in the country. Oh, it's seven seven point four acres. Seven point four acres. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful out there. Everywhere you look, you see God. Just the animals everywhere. The sky is beautiful. This, it's just amazing. Scott does like I do. It's Every amazing, morning we man. go out on the porch, out on the porch and we watch the sunset. I mean, sun, sunrise. Yeah. Sunrise <laughs> are, are gorgeous. It's just beautiful. beautiful. And, and so, Love the uh, country. And, and, you know, I would encourage you, you know, go to Michael's website. And it might be that uh, these two could really uh, bless your church, challenge your church, change the people in your church. I do. I want you to go and give Michael a call and just tell hey, Michael, could you and Scott come and visit our church? Whether it's a morning worship, an evening Wednesday, whether it's a men's oh, it group, ladies' matter. group, I mean, you can do it. You know, Youth group. I mean, there ain't no uh, I mean, 24 7. Just call. Now, I know how, how well he's in. Do you have any aspirations to sing? Uh, actually, I did before. Uh -huh. but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what. Oh, we'll hold, hold well, we may get you. Down, we, may, we may get down the road sometime and do that. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, yeah. uh, you never know. You never know. You never know. And I'm still writing new songs. I got a, oh, it's called The Journey. And, yes. it's, and about everything that I've been through through these past couple months, yeah. it, everybody's journey is different, but Jesus is there. As, I mean, if, just go to him. Whatever you're doing yes. in your life, it's just, it's really important that you stop Please, the Lord, I need you now. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have been amazed over the years, some of the great songs this guy's written. And uh, they are, they're really anointed songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, even, as you, I'm sure as, as you listen tonight through your television screen, you can sense the presence of God 
in the life of Michael Bass Thank Machen. You. And, and you know what's interesting? Uh, you and I met uh, yeah. at, at Publix yeah. uh, when he offered me a piece of ham. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Yeah, he did. You yeah. go see Michael Publix. You're going to get some slices. And, 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 you know, yeah. I, and so I went home that day, and, and I told my wife, go to Publix, ask for Michael. He'll give you a piece of meat. Yeah. <laughs> Free sample. Free sample. Cheese, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you've retired now. Yes. And uh, in retirement, great. Uh, retirement's great because I get to spend more time with the Lord. I mean, yeah. every morning I'm out on the front watching the sunrise, reading my devotionals, reading my Bible, and just it's just... Encouraged to start my day that way without the pressure of going to public some work. You know, I mean, it's really you gave me a great devotional book that I read from time to time. I know it's it's and, wonderful. Uh, I mean, really, you you did. But now, let me ask you, what what do, what's down the road for Michael Baz Machen? I know you've been writing songs. Yep. Do we have a new uh, CD coming out anytime soon? Um, yeah, I'm working on a new one, but it's just uh, I had to get back in the studio. You know, yeah. to get it. So yeah. it's going to be a little bit, but um, there's some new songs coming up next time. I'll well, what we want, I will, when you get it done, yeah. of course, okay. get it to Allison, yeah, and, you well, know, and we'll have you here, and uh, and hopefully I'll be hosting that night. Yes. Remember, you I, got the autograph, yes, I the know. CD, <laughs> and give it to me. For, uh, all, uh, you, over a decade of it, do it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, he has. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, you know, I have his CDs. Yeah. They're all autographed, and and I always am thrilled to get them. So uh, with, with the music, though, that I really need you people to listen to the words as I sing. Power of His Love is, is I'm telling you what, when you're down and out and you listen to, listen to the song, it's, just, it's amazing. Well, it yeah. is. I mean, all, all of my that. songs, all about the Lord and just all about what you're going through. Yeah. And now, when you go to the studio, where do you go? Do you, you have a studio in-house? or No, do you... I have a buddy of mine in Kentucky. He's got a studio. And you remember Rick Burnside? He, yes, he, yes, yeah, yes, Rick yes, Burnside. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. He has a studio. He's uh, He does my taping. Love's Promise Kept is the one I did from prison. Uh -huh. That was going to be one of my first new ones there because it's just... I wrote that right after I did the prison, and it yeah. just, it was crazy. It was, I love yeah. it. Have, let me ask you something. I know we've got a couple minutes left. Okay. Have you written anything for Dad since he's gone to glory? The song, Tell Me My Lord, mm -hmm. was one of his favorite. I'll be singing that tonight. You'll be singing that um, tonight. It just, he sat there and listened to that song, and just, because it's such a beautiful melody. Mm -hmm. And he said, Mikey, I love that song. And just, uh, so I'm going to sing it for him tonight. That's great. And I just, it's, I, I miss him. Yeah. But but you know what? It's it's you're never they're never gone. They're they're in heaven right now. So yeah. it's just yeah. it's just uh And you know the thing about it, one day you're gonna see him again. I know, I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> you're gonna can't see wait him to look again. the Lord in the face. Lord mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. and I, yeah. can you imagine the music there? Well, listen, I yes. I want to thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to release you back onto the set because we're going to go off the air mm -hmm. with your singing. Tell me, my Lord, Amen. one of those songs that. And you're doing this for Daddy. Doing this for Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to listen to you. So we'll we'll let you slip on off the set, and I'm going to come back over here to. Uh, to Scott. Now, Scott, I just believe this, that somewhere along the lines, you and Michael you need to sing one time together, one song, and then see where it goes from that. I mean, because we never know. I mean, we just never know. I think that may be a, a true statement. You know, I, mean, I was thinking about that the other day. I mean, too, about, because about have you have you previously sung before? I have sang. I've sang in choirs before uh -huh. in church, uh -huh. but it has been, it's been a while since I've sang. Right, so, right. But yeah. but really, I, what what a blessing that would be. I mean, it it really would. And now, to will you be you'll be going back to Belton tonight? Yes. And yes, uh, and and so you know, what an what an opportunity to share with the Lord. Thank you for being here. We My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for having me. And listen, tonight, Appreciate that. tonight, many of you have called in. I want to have prayer over these prayer requests. Scott's going to, he's, uh, he's going to place his hand with me right here. Uh, let me offer this closing prayer. Loving Father, every need, you know it. I yes, pray thy yes. will be done in every call that's come through. Bless each and every one we pray collectively, yes. soon to Thank be you, prayed Jesus. individually. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right now, thank you so much. We're going to go off the air with Michael Basmachi, and I'm Pastor Benny. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Michael, tell me my Lord. All right, Michael. I want to dedicate this song to my dad.